Berger still looking for the ball. Holmes inside calling for it. Holmes off the back. Great job by Mackenzie Holmes right there. The Hoosiers on a run out up to Patberg inside the three-point line. Now back pedals inside Holmes. Throws it up and gets the roll with a foul and a chance at a three-point play. It's down to six. Berger left side wing. Uses a screen from Mackenzie Holmes. Gets into the paint. Misses the runner. Mackenzie follows and puts it back up just before the horn. And Indiana with an exclamation point to cap this first quarter. It was tally. Grace Berger taking it herself, feed inside, Mackenzie Holmes, and one! Excellent job by Mackenzie Holmes. Extend the lead. Ben thought about it, now fires it off to Wilson. Wilson drives inside for Mackenzie Holmes, who gets the easy layup. She's been so good all year long inside for Indiana. The freshman extends the lead. It's to play in the quarter. Feeds Wise inside, tried to get it to go, no good. Mackenzie Holmes grabs the rebound. As time expires, Indiana grabs another big two points. Youngstown State, since coming out of half, shooting under 10% from the field. Bendu Yaney kicks to Penn. Feed inside, Mackenzie Holmes connects. 17 now for Japrice Dean to lead all scores. There's your freshman working her way in. It's Holmes. Back very long, just trying to get their feet underneath of them, both teams. Yeah, heavy dose. A Big Ten basketball here today, and there's a nice step through move by the freshman, Mackenzie Holmes. In Big Ten play, and the guards have so much to say about the success of these two teams, but I think Holmes. Garante is already working an 11 point, five rebound first half. Holmes gets the block. That is the fifth Indiana <laughs> block here in the opening half. He is just a rookie this season. Look at Garantes. Gets all the way to the rack again. Holmes is there again. On the floor. These are important minutes for her with KK Sanders on the bench. Holmes through the double team, yeah. threw it up and in. What a move. Under Coach Bay and with this type of experience, you should see some extreme growth within the years. Look at Holmes. Grace Berger into existence, Jantel. <laughs> yeah. First two of the night for the true freshman Kennedy Miles. Her classmate Mackenzie Holmes puts one right in her grill and goes to the foul line. Mackenzie Holmes just in there working strong. Hasn't been going their way. Well, I mean, I guess I should say everything hasn't been going their way. Allen to pull up from the free throw line. Off the front, Holmes able to gobble the rebound and get the basket plus the foul. And so, Iowa does a good job of knocking in those threes, so that's something, again, to look at today. They give Holmes another touch, and she goes to work. Jordan Hamilton took that last shot for Northwestern. Junior from Texas who checked in for the Wildcats. Chanel Wilson, nice pass to Holmes, and one. The freshman is back within five. Freshman to freshman for the bucket. Yeah, what a play. Jalen Penn, now Patberg with five. The crowd counts it down. Patberg, Holmes at the buzzer, banks it in! She's got range! Here's Patberg trying to feed the freshman. Holmes split the difference. I don't know how she found the space to get that one to go. And let's take a look at post move 101. Yeah, everyone's saying, hey, the hybrid game is in, but hey, don't forget about the post players down in there. The fundamental. Freshman with 14. Co leading score for the Hoosiers. Two to shoot. There's that left hand. There Working it, it good. See, taught her everything I know. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this is not her natural hand. No, she wants to go there, though. Every time, she likes to shoot. Get in her eyesight so she can pass the ball to you for a clean look. Brunson on the drive, trying to hand it off to Bello. It's taken away by Holmes. Across the floor to Keanu Warthen for the bucket. This is a shocking start for the 2-7 and seven Badgers. We told you it doesn't quite detail Wisconsin's season. Offensive board, Holmes lays it in. On breast cancer awareness night, Indiana has it to eight. No, a charge. No, they counted the basket. So it's a block and an and one for Mackenzie Holmes. Inside to Holmes. She can shoot from the left, she can shoot from the right. 
don't think I've seen Jones miss like that. It no. looked like maybe it slipped out of her hand. She's one of the more efficient shooters. 57% from the floor, and so is Holmes. She's off the bench. Uh, she has gone to work down in the paint. First with... Getting her going will really open up this Nebraska offense as she averages just under 11 points a game. And Mackenzie Holmes on the other end working on the paint on Verbeek. As you can see again, Jalen Penn didn't take the three. She faked it out, passes to Patberg, gets it around to Holmes. Holmes up with the right hand and got it. The paint dominating for Indiana. Patberg to Berger. The two have combined for over 50% of Indiana's points since the late stages of the first half. And Berger kicks to Holmes to put Indiana back up by four. You mentioned her in the open, Eli. She's going to be a big presence down low. Here she's working on Kinde Bello up with the left. That's good. Um, she's very lucky and fortunate to have such great family members to be able to come and, and see her play. Underneath home, bucket and a foul. Good cross screen by Grace Berger to set up. Again, showing this little matchup zone. Penn down low for Holmes, spins to the middle with the left hand over Haley Brown. It's good. First field goal for Mackenzie Holmes. She got a both and now a steal. Mackenzie Holmes with a steal up top, hustling back Hillman, but Holmes with a turn to the left and a score. And especially Allie Patberg shoot more, and right off the bat, Patberg scores. Yeah, right there. Great oh. execution. If I can go back to that Patberg play really quick. No turnover so far today. But also, you working that back and forth like we're seeing right now with a three-point shot now back inside. And look, Mackenzie Holmes gets it done again. Omar guarded tightly by Patberg. Trying to get around Holmes and reject it. What a play by Mackenzie Holmes. The right hand swat. She says, get that out of there. 4.52. Left to go in the second quarter. What a play by Holmes. Or Penn or someone else to hit some threes and open up this offense. Nice pass inside, but a great block right there from Holmes. Stops the easy layup. Now driving very quickly, coast to coast. He's going to get that one to fall with the foul. For those in a clean manner. Sam Hyvie picked up the personal foul there, and they go deep inside again that time to Holmes, who that time converts for the bucket. Looking for Mackenzie Holmes down low. What a feed into the paint to Grace Berger, and she now has 13. As she knocks down her first triple, just a 25% shooter out there. Oh, there's another nice dip. While she's shooting is not something that Illinois needs. She had a great start and then the foot injury, and maybe she'll be available for the NCAA tournament. Holmes? Now they've settled down in the paint. Yeah. Collins tried to keep it alive, taken away by Indiana. Three on two, Hoosiers. Baseline pull up and the drop. Three quarter court pressure onto the Lady Lions. They'll drop back into the zone if, um, if they can't get the turnover. Cardano Hillary with a chest pass to Golbe. Inserts it deep inside to Mackenzie Holmes, who just bullies her way. Jake got 0 for 3 from downtown. That's an outlet past Allie Patberg. She'll track it down to the trailer. Mackenzie Holmes dodges a defender and still able to lip it in past Tova Sable. 5-3. Bit of a turnover-filled first few minutes. Drives with the left. It's a nice block by Holmes. So it's going to be kicked out of bounds by Wisconsin. That's going to go to Indiana's way. Great play in the interior by Holmes. Preseason favorites in the Big Ten, and a microcosm of all of that today. Trailing big and now leading, and a chance for three for Mackenzie Holmes. For Indiana, out of the timeout, out of bounds, Mackenzie Holmes once again, jab, step, step through the defense for the and one. Pat Bird, with time dwindling, gives it up to Holmes, who beats the buzzer with a hook shot floater. And gives Indiana a one-point lead at the half. 13 points on five of seven. A beautiful hook shot for Indiana. Ohio State does a really good job on and off the ball being active and aware and getting those deflections. It makes it hard on teams. On fire under her feet, but she got out in time. Berger feeds Holmes, spinning the left hand. And it's good, and she'll go to the line on her post-up position, getting the seal right there. 
That's when she locked in and then showed the ball and then came back. Oh, boy, the counter to the counter for Mackenzie Holmes. You'd love to see it. Boom, boom, quick spin with contact. Not had a lot of fouls in this game, but that is the second on Sonano, which is huge. So she is now out to so an opportunity in the paint for Indiana has just opened up and... I probably would have left that as a no call from that angle, but on the other end, you mentioned the substitution in the post, and Indiana goes right to home. Down the floor without scoring a single point. Holmes with Sonano out, just backing up and putting it in. She is not shy about it, and you have to love that about her. Nice again, another spin move inside for Holmes. They missed their last four buckets. They get it into the hands of Hillman, who coughs it up. The tight, tough defense by the Indiana Hoosiers forcing the turnover. Berger working, spinning on post piece of a three batter surrounder. They kick to the corner. Here's a three ball hoisted, and it's missed by IU. Holmes has it. She'll spin around Thompson. Left hand finishes in. They'll inbound sideline left. Berger. Oh boy. Tosses over the top. Holmes catches, turns, oh. and it's going to be good at the buzzer. Well executed play there by Indiana to end the second quarter. You just got to belly up on them, and then you have to make a decision. Do you play that inbound or tight? So no Big Ten tournament, no NCAA tournament. Dump down to Mackenzie Holmes in the first touch for the post-dominant player down low. Gets herself in a position to score the bucket despite the pass from her teammate. There's a drive for Braxton Miller high off the glass. Rebound, Patty rejected by Holmes. And it'll stay on this side. They're wearing those jerseys because this is the pink game for Indiana. You see the pink trim on their white jerseys as well and the pink shoes as Holmes gets the two. Watch the patience inside by Mackenzie Holmes. The defender's there. I'm a witness to her making some truly difficult shots. And I'm telling you, you've just got to deny her the touches as best you can. Trailer, guarded by Papberg, lost the basketball, and here comes Indiana the other direction. Papberg in transition, no numbers forward, but she'll hit it anyway. Allie Papberg perhaps playing in her final game in an Indiana uniform in Bloomington. Meanwhile, they'll feed Golbe inside and Alexa Goulbet. Winston, you see her numbers in that second round and the nice spin move by Mackenzie Holmes, who's been kind of the meal ticket for the Hoosiers. Well, a great start by both teams. Mackenzie Holmes, first team, all big. They give her the ball again, this time further away from the basket as Olivia Owens is checked in for Kentucky. Doesn't matter. Holmes right over her. For Daniel Hillary, lit it up, 29 points in their last game. Inside to Holmes. Still perfect. We have to stick to what works for us. What makes us this team that beat them? We move the ball, our motion, finding each other. And right on cue, McKenzie Holmes with an outside bucket because of the ball movement. Triple is probably not on a uh, best shot for NC State. Look at this screen right here and pop to the perimeter. Nice pass by Berger. From Holmes, Berger. Tries to get to the rim on the outside. McKenzie Holmes drains it from the outside and gets everyone in this house on their feet. Before that, they were one for eight. Holmes. And she has just had her way inside. And do your work early in the post. Watch right here, McKenzie Holmes just eat. Lowry handling the ball. Dri driving with her left hand, going up, blocked by Holmes. Yeah, and Kenzie Holmes getting up. External expectations right now because we haven't beat all of these AP top 25s. Well, they've got another opportunity to do it again here tonight. Saying that she has to play with that poise, and that was why that was one of the keys in the absence of Madison Green this season. Holmes back the other way for Indiana. Mackenzie Holmes, she's trying to prepare for the next level. She's only a junior, so if she can knock down the three ball on a consistent basis.
turns and faces Holmes, hands it off to Wagner, gets a screen from Jacobson. Wagner shot blocked by McKenzie Holmes. Berger to keep her foot down, turns it over. Chance for the Terrapins, and they have another oh. miscue. And wide open, the other end is home. Benson now running the other way from Meredith. She finds a Bibby cutting on the opposite side of the floor, not there. Holmes with the left hand, beautifully done. And just does a good job of getting in there, and then the pass inside to McKenzie Holmes. Good patient. Owusu and Holmes getting so much closer to normal. Sure enough, Holmes with the basket, and she'll head to the line. Maryland gets out, and Nicole Cardano Hillary pushes it right back. Pat Bird. Holmes for three. Mackenzie Holmes gets a three, her second. Kate Martin for Iowa. Lisa Bluter describes her as the absolute glue for the Hawkeyes. Sanchez, crossover, attack, kick, left corner, Finley, deep two is an air ball long, long rebound to Carrera, who goes inside, has it blocked out of bounds. I think it was either Holmes or Garzon who got it. The Falcons were gonna have to shoot really well from three if they were to compete in this game. They've done the opposite, one of 11 from beyond the arc. Mackenzie Holmes gets that one to fall. Be a trip for Mackenzie Holmes. Uh, that's one thing Indiana wa wants to do much better in the second half. Five straight points for Elisa Brett. That brings up her total to 11. They hit Grace Berger down in the baseline, and man, wide open for Grace Berger. Berger gets to the baseline, back out to Zarich on the left wing, hands it off to Berger, out to Moore McNeil, inside for Holmes to a right hand, cut it, and one. They've got to get in there and get those second and third chance opportunities. They have a size advantage in there across the board, and they also need to contain the paint. Look at Mackenzie Holmes. There you go. There's the shot going up. You've got to put a body on Mackenzie Holmes because she's going to find a sliver of light. Holmes inside, spinning with the left hand. Moore McNeil swinging it to Scalia, down low. Holmes finds Sandvi cutting, and she gets the reverse layup to fall. Indiana now leads by nine, throwing an 11 or a 7 0 run. As going into the lane, it's swatted by McKenzie Holmes as the Dalio McKenzie got stuffed. They continue to show pressure. Bounce pass Holmes, has it short corner, passes it down low to a cutting gear zone. She finishes it. Claymore McNeil tries to push it, button hook in the lane. Back up top, they work it around the perimeter. Bounce pass down low. Holmes up, count it, foul. She'll head to the line looking to complete the three point play. It's Lexus Bargesser, the freshman, feeding down low. Nice find. Geary able to finish up the play, and she'll head to the line for a chance for one more. As they go up against the number four and undefeated Indiana Hoosiers. Nice steal from behind by Chloe Moore McNeil. They're heading the other way with Scalia to Parrish. At the bucket, just off. But on the putback is Mackenzie Holmes, the and one. This morning, they really put an emphasis on getting on the boards. And Mackenzie Holmes flies. Started all 11 games for Butler to this point. Moore McNeil swings back to Holmes. She's going to pop a three and banks it in. Down low to Holmes. She's fouled and won. Mackenzie Holmes. Soft touch around the rim. The other end. Look at how deep Holmes is. She already has one foot on that restricted area. Holmes will set the screen down to four. Garzon trying to drive on Alexander. Spinning. Flip back to Holmes. Got it at the buzzer. Perfectly executed final set for Indiana. That's a big bucket. Four game right before halftime on the replay there. A nice shovel pass. She was trying. She was working hard. Well, I think they expect so much out of her. There she is. That's a good cut. Hey, great vision, too, from Mackenzie Holmes. Absolutely able to contribute. Make plays that they would normally get from Grace Berger. Well, there she is, cutting to the basket. Shelly gets rejected by Holmes. Scalia floater off the window.
their zone. Over to Moore McNeil, three seconds for Indiana. She'll have to feed it into Holmes. She's got it, and that is so impressive. Down to Holmes. Walled off on the right side, so she spins back to the left and lays it in. What she could have done differently on that one. They just got tangled. Gets on, on the feed from Holmes. Really nice pass. Average 18 and a half assist. Top teams in the Big Ten with that. Porter couldn't get it to go. Good contest from Moore McNeil, and now they'll push things. Holmes underneath, too easy, and the foul. It doesn't, it doesn't get easier for that. Delivering another big bucket to give the Hoosiers their first lead of the night. And again, to the point that Alec made, they're experienced. They've been here before. They know how to keep calm and composed as a sweet swat there for McKenzie Holmes. Back the other way now for IU as Adalia McKenzie curls to the bucket. Aim is off, and back comes Chloe Moore McNeil. Quickly inside to Grace Berger. She got past everyone. Count it and one on Bryn Shoup Hill. As Mahomes goes, uh, as Holmes goes to work, sees that double team immediately kicks out. And then the turnaround. Grace Berger and Mackenzie Holmes, both with three personals. They are on the floor. Here is Holmes going to work. But she's so effective cleaning up boards on the other side. Here's Parrish, two on one, gives it up to Holmes. Counted in the foul. Diving down into the paint, Parrish with a perfect bounce pass to Holmes. Oh, oh, Holmes to Parrish. Their zone getting it to Berger, who just got the steal and score. Parrish looking for Holmes inside. They guarded her well to start. But that's a tough assignment either way. Holmes scores with the right hand, and she's fouled. The Big Ten in field goal percentage. She's the double-double queen, as we've of learned course. today. Smichael. Double. Pump fakes. Stolen away by Holmes. More McNeil on the break. Finds Berger for three. She got it. Gophers 0 for 3 shooting to start this game. Battle tries to put one in. Great block by Holmes. That's her 34th on the season leading the team. Skip pass over to Grace Berger. Gonna use the screen from Holmes. Nice pass inside. Holmes with another spin. That's the third time she's got that to go. Terry Moore and also told us play our stingy defense, stay tight to their shooters. They're doing that early on. Holmes stepping out, boy, when she's doing that, it's pretty scary. But now she's two of eight, so hello. Look, a high ball screen, she's just gonna pop off of that. And you're not gonna play her for it because she was one of seven coming in, right? So you're like, okay, we'll gamble. Not looking to do that, staying individually covered with Sonano on her. Holmes gets it to go, and the foul. Sonano, her second. Well, Terry Morin just implored her ball club to finish the plays and get the and ones. Berger misfires right there. Moore McNeil getting a long rebound. Berger gets it in, going to work. It is Holmes. I'm not sure that hit the rim. Tapped away by Berger. Moore McNeil down to Holmes, kept it in the foul especially when they can get out and run in transition, pushing the ball up the floor. Moore McNeil knows where to... Picked up by Mackenzie Holmes. Takes it all the way. Mackenzie Holmes looking like a point guard, picking the pocket of Janae Terry. She read that perfectly, coming over, ready to try to high hedge, but just decided, hey, I'll take this and go score too. Plays, and then the defense from Mackenzie Holmes comes out to hedge, and she just picks the pocket of Terry. Terry almost didn't see him. Warren has said it, deepest team she's ever had at IU. Holmes, Dahlia outside, she can be a dangerous scorer, recently at 24 against Ohio State. Whistle there. So you get the catch and quick turn. And Ooh, those are not easy, all the resistance. I remember those at 6 a.m. in the morning. My goodness, that's 
That's a throwback. Rebecca Mikulashikova fouls Mackenzie Holmes.